What's cracking, brethren? It's Unhost here. Welcome to Gear Up. This is a tank fighting game, and where you can customize your tank and uh, just kind of do battle on a bunch of different maps. I've had a lot of fun playing this. Just started playing it last night. I'm still a rookie. I've only got 250 points, um, and there's not really a whole lot of people playing this right now. So it was kind of hard to find a match. Much with, uh, I've I've kind of been having that problem with many Steam games that are free to play. And while I'm at it, this is completely free to play, although you can pay for upgrades for your tank. Now, I don't believe the upgrades will actually give you any more damage. There's no pay to win from what I can tell. I might be wrong. There might be some stuff where you can overpower your tank, but for now, I don't think that's the case. But um, let's go see if we can find a game. We can do either team deathmatch or deathmatch online. So let's do just a deathmatch where we don't have teams. Last night I was playing strictly team deathmatch. And it was actually kind of hard to tell who was on your team. But i got to say, I was having a lot of fun playing this. And um, the graphics are great. Very smooth graphics. Uh, very pleasing to the eye, I could say. And uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Controls are extremely simple. There's not very many controls at that. But uh, very, very simple, very fun stuff. I'm on the red team. Or maybe there's not teams. But let's see how many people we got. Oh, we actually have a few, uh, few people playing. That's really cool. Last night I could only find three people on my map, but I guess that's what I get for playing it. Whoa, PewDiePie just left the game, I guess. Who knows if that was the real one. I guess we'll see if he releases a video. But uh, I'll show you guys the different upgrades. This guy has some kind of upgrade with an umbrella. I do not have any upgrades. Um, I'm not that good of a shot. I literally just woke up. But I was actually I was actually doing really well. I, I did not get killed the entire time I was playing yesterday. And uh, there I go, I died. That's the guy that killed me. So you guys can see he's got some upgrades on his tank where he's got like propellers and uh, he's got like quad wheels. Stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. You do have ways to get armor and health on here. And uh, you guys, I think you guys can see why I like the graphics and how they're so pleasing to the eye. I can really, really find myself playing this game a lot. Now it looks like there's some kind of auto target where my cursor, or my crosshair should I say, kind of tracking this guy, but I'm not sure if that's what's happening or not. Maybe it'll try to go for the tank. Oh, I'm getting hit really hard. And I got killed! I'm doing awful. Please forgive me. I'm not very good at these. I don't know what they're called. I, uh, if someone can answer the comments, what what are the games called that are like this, uh, where you've got your player, you can see your player, but it's not exactly an FPS. Uh, kind of like a few games that have come out quite recently. Now. From what I can tell, most of the different types of weapons are going to do about the same amount of damage. Now, if you're, say for this guy, he's got he's got a weapon that does a lot of damage at once. And um, I'm not sure if there's any splash damage. I'll have to check that out. Uh, but obviously, you're going to have to pay for these. I'm not sure if they have some kind of cooldown. But from what I can tell, say if I've got this that fires, you know, this fast, if a weapon does a lot of damage, it's going to have a higher cooldown, if that makes any sense, but it's a very fun game. I like, I like it a lot. So we'll kind of continue on and, and see if we can actually get a kill. Getting a little embarrassed. Okay, this is another thing I've, ha I've had problems with. If you tip over, it is extremely hard to get tipped back over, so I'm not sure if that's some kind of bug or if, you know, that's just the way it's going to go. But I had a really hard time flipping back over whenever I was uh, flipped on my side. Maybe it's just the beginner vehicle that does that, but man, it was rough. It was pretty rough. So let's try to at least get a kill. It's kind of embarrassing uh, not having one. And I'm probably going to die. Oh! <laughs> Snap, I'm dead. <laughs> well, I killed the guy with my umbrella, so I got revenge. And uh, let's go. Let's go show you guys all of the upgrades you can get. From what I can tell, the only maps I've played, you can get health and armor. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no any. There's no picking up weapons. You can't pick up any upgrades like uh, a few of the other tank shooter games. But I'm gonna say that uh, I really like the simplicity of this game. If you guys, if you guys can enjoy the simp the simplistic style of some games, then I think you guys would enjoy this. Uh, you, you've, oh, I got another kill. I killed that guy again. Um, I really enjoy the simplicity 
and uh, just how easy this is. It's, it's easy to pick up the game and just start playing. There's nothing to it, and I've had a lot of problem. Uh, there's another game that I'm going to review hopefully tomorrow that is called Dungeon Party, and um, I gotta say, that game, we had a little lag there, that game is extremely hard to pick up and just start playing. It's, the controls are insane. This game is just absolutely easy to pick it up for free, like I said, completely free. You guys can go to Steam, look up this game, and just start playing. Now, once this match is over, <clears throat> excuse me, we can go check out the upgrades and uh, all of that kind of stuff. I don't think it has the prices listed, but once you become a premium user, which we will find out the price here shortly, I'll show you guys exactly how much it's going to cost to go premium and actually be able to get these upgrades. So let's go find out. You guys can see in the upper left hand corner we, ha we do have a mini map. We can tell. And if you press what is that? Uh, you press tab you can find out where everybody is. So here we've got an armor upgrade and you can tell it doesn't have a hitbox. The armor does not have a hitbox so it's just a passive shield that will save you from taking too much damage at once. So Hopefully in this battle we can get some good shots off and try to avoid his insane bullets. Yeah, he's he's got a pretty strong uh, he's got a pretty strong tank there. Pretty goofy looking, if I might say. Um, I'm really curious if that was PewDiePie or not. Oh my goodness, I bet it wasn't. Um, but anyways, 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 you guys can tell. You can also hit spacebar if you don't want to hit your left click to shoot. Um, there's also a lot of these right here. These little lifts. The game's almost over. I'm probably going to leave so I can show you guys exactly what else you can get if you do feel like paying in this game. It's a good time to do that because we're kind of stuck. But uh, here we'll go to the... Uh, you can see you get a cool little cinematic of your trailer there, or your, of your tank. So we will leave the game. And if we go into Customize Tank, we can see all the cool stuff. So you can drag it with your mouse, like so. <clears throat> and your hull is going to be the top part right here. You can see it's flashing. Or I should say the abdomen part. And uh, yeah, you've got to have premium for some of these. I think you guys can see that. Uh, as for your turret, now, again, if someone has played this game before, you guys can let me know. If you buy an upgrade, does it increase your damage? From what I can tell, it is all just visual. So, you guys can see this. All of these different things. Now, I've seen some developers' blogs for this game, and they're going to come out with a lot more. Uh, different kinds of wheels, different kinds of turrets, weapons, all of that. And if we come over to the weapons, we've got quite a few that we can choose from. Now I've seen some really cool weapons. They've got stuff like flamethrowers, lasers, uh, like a railgun. They've got a big, uh, what is it called, plasma cannon. And uh, yeah, as you guys saw in the previous game, some kind of mini cannon. So it's a very fun game. Again, very simple stuff, very awesome game, I really like it. Guys, feel free to download it, I will put the link in the description, or you can just go to your Steam and search it. My blind eyes could not see the fact that when we hover over some of these weapons and uh, different things that, if you guys look in the upper left hand corner in that box, it will actually show you what some of these things do. So as we can see, we can change the damage indeed, and uh, we can actually change the weight, which will affect our speed, or mass. Uh, and we can see here that some of these are actually very powerful. And if we scroll down, we can see that uh, we have a fire rate, which we can see is, I think, I think that is the firing per second. So this one fires two per second, or um, doing 30 damage. 0% slowdown, which I'm guessing is cooldown maybe. Uh, the impact radius will be an AoE area of effect damage and the mass which will again affect your speed and then if we go over to the propulsions let's see if we can drag over there drag with the mouse of course propulsions uh, we can do max velocity we can uh, add a little bit more armor to our vehicle with this obviously paying for some of this stuff and you have to go premium for some of the stuff that does not have the lock by it has the premium word by it and uh, a lot of these things are adding quite a bit of mass so you guys can you guys can make the decisions for yourself and as for the turrets adding armor and mass only it seems and for the hull let's see what that does as well 
uh, it'll be armor and mass as well. So your abdomen and your turret, or your hull and your turret, are gonna add armor and mass. So it might be worth it if you guys get really serious into this, uh, serious into this game to actually pay for some of this stuff. But as for me, I think I'll keep playing with my normal tank. As we can see, it's not that bad. So you can actually choose different loadouts, which are going to be the different tanks that you have on your squadron. But anyways, just had to come back and let you guys know a little bit more information on gear up. Have a good one, guys. Adios.